Hi everybody, in tonight's Unity tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make a star field. Because in any uh, spacefaring game, it's important to get that sense of speed and motion. And uh, in a 2D side-scrolling, you know, space shooter, a star field is a necessity. So that's what I'm going to go over how to do here. And the funny thing is, in a 2D, the, the method I'm using to make the star field, um, I could use the same method to make a 3D star field. Alright, so in another video I made this like spaceship here space fighter and now we're just going to make it look like this ship is flying through a star field so the star field is going to be actually one of the effects so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty game object to be the star field and let's call it star field effect I guess and um, right now it's positioned right there where the ship is let me just move the ship back a little Boom. okay and the star field's there um, this is an empty game object, so it does not have a like a, a, a something to look at. So I'm just going to give it a, uh, a little icon here. And there, yellow. And you know, when I get close enough, you can see it's a star field effect. All right. Maybe I'll make it a dot instead. Doot. Just a little yellow dot to say where the start of it is. So here's a star field. This is the forward. This is the back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a component to it. It's going to be an effect component. And it will be a particle system. Okay? And then right off, you see the particle system is spraying out some particles. The particles don't have any um, material assigned, so they're just pink cubes. So I guess the first thing is we could make those particles have a material. Anyway, here's the particle system uh, component in the inspector window. There's a lot of things here like the duration, the looping, that means the particles keep flowing out, pre-warm. Um, so let's play around, let's change these um, pink squares to actually be something. So I'm going to go down here to the renderer for this and let's make this full screen. And I'm going to spread this out like this. Let's make this full screen. So the render mode, the material right now is none. So this is how we can get rid of those pink squares. We just pick a material. And there's some default particle materials built into Unity. This one's default particle material. And this one's default particle system material. What's different? Uh, this is smaller. These are bigger. All right, so I'll just pick this one. So now we have these. These little orange boxes are just because we're in the um, selection mode here. Do I want to see those orange boxes? I think I could turn it off. Let's see, scripts, built-in components. And joint light here particle system particle system effector effector projector I don't know but otherwise this is the way they would really look in the game but since um, I'm editing it's putting those orange squares around it and they, I don't know oh that's the bounds of the particle effect this yellow box is where the particle effect will be okay so we got these little yellow dots but they're kind of spraying out all over if this game, I'm, it's in 3D, but it's going to be a 2D game, first thing I want to do is I want to get the particles going the other way. So, maybe there's something here with the rendering. I got a default particle. The normal direction is 1, so would minus 1 be the other way? No. <laughs> it only goes to 0. So I'll leave that as a 1. Sort mode, sorting fudge, min and max particle size, render alignment. Or, oh, rendering is how it's drawing it. It's rendered into the view. Um, flip, pivot, where is it that it has it? All right, so I think it's here in the shape that we have the angle. So what's this angle thing? This is the angle of how the particles are spreading out. And we can see here that the particles are spreading out in a cone shape. But that's not what we want for our star field. There must be something better that we could use, um, like a box shape. And now they're coming out in a straight line. Okay, you can see that. And then, um, let's see, the scale of the box. Here in the Y, we want the Y to be bigger. So let's try to make it bigger, like 10. Okay, that's good. So make it like 30. So now we have a sense of something. Now that's just going the wrong way. So let's rotate, and this is the x-axis here. Let's rotate 90 degrees. 
180 degrees, and now the particles are going that way. All right. So the star field, here it is in the in the middle. Let me just move over this view. Whoops. Uh, let's look at the star field. And I'm looking at the star field and zoom out on it. Okay, so the particles are flowing out this way. So you can see if a ship was flying through it, you kind of have a thing. Now, there's one thing, the camera with the sky, that's not like an outer space picture right now. So to create more of an outer space background, I'm going to change from using a sky box to a solid color. And there is black right there. So now when I pick this, now how can I look at the black here? Let's see. Okay, so the camera view, as we're seeing here, it's going to be black, right? That's nice. But here when I'm designing it, I'm seeing it with the sky box. Say I don't want to see the sky box right there. I think right here, this icon with the layers and everything, I could toggle, what do I want to see? And I can see particle systems or not. I'm seeing them. Sky box, I could turn off and at least it's a gray background. Okay, so now I could like see a little bit more like the way it would look with the camera view. Now let's get this star field a little bit um, better. Like all the stars are going by at the same speed, but in three-dimensional space, it would be deeper. So here with the shape thing, I had the scale on the Y, 30. Let's make the scale on the X a little deeper. Let's say 30. Ah, that gives a sense of space better. Maybe even bigger, 50. 100. Maybe 50. Okay, so now the um, particles are flying out in space like that. Let me move this over here, like out. Now the lifetime of these particles is going to have to be longer. See, because they only last for five seconds. So I moved it out too far for myself. So here's where we could make the stars last longer. I could just over here make it last for 10 seconds which should make it go twice as far and also longer. Let's say the duration is, or is it lifetime? Oh, this could be one. And it's the lifetime, I think, that does it. Let's say 15 seconds. Okay, now they're going across the screen. The ones that are closer look like this. The ones that are further back, remember, if we show the bounds, they're only making it this far. We want them to go that far. So let's increase it to like 30. There, now we have the sense of like all the particles and this would have to be, let's say the camera view is like this for the game, this thing, the star field effect. Let's move it over a little bit more on the, on the Z so that all we see is the stars. Okay. And that's the lifetime. And we got the start size. Well, stars don't all shine as bright as others, so let's make it a random between two constants, a size maybe like a 0.5 to a 1. Hmm. Maybe a 0.5 will be the largest, and then the smallest could be like a 0 0.25, 0 0.2. And uh, let's just see how that looks like in the game view. Cool. All right, that's like a star field. Yeah. Um, now let's make the stars have some different colors. Start color. Does this have a drop down? Yeah, it does. Random between two colors. Um, okay. Say that. Here's its color white, and let's say the other color is yellow, yellowish. You see how that looks in the game view? Uh, I want even more colors. Random between two, random color. Random color, and how does this do? From here to here to here. Okay, is the top one alpha? And the bottom one's color. So let's just make this some different colors here. We got yellow. Let's have another color in here. Let's have red. Just to get a little bit more spice life for the star field. And basically that's how we make a star field. Let me just get this um the view set for the camera. If this is the view for the camera, okay, I have it like this, the ship can move back. So let me set the camera, shift me the camera, control shift F to set the camera view to that. Now when I look at the game view, let's press the star field again. There you go. That's not bad.
Ooh, it looks like it's a little empty on the bottom there. Well, that's okay because let's play this. <laughs> oh, where's my Starfield? Where is it? Something's wrong. Oh, there it goes. This is where the pre-warm is going to come in handy, okay? There's a star field, but when I press to start the game, the field is not there yet. You know, it has to have a, a it has to be pre-warmed up. So I'm going to click the pre-warm button, and then when I press play, it starts with stars in the star field. And there's my ship flying around. Um, I guess I should make my ship fly around too, but this tutorial is about the star field. So there you go. That's how you make a star field. Um, so say if I had other levels and everything, of course, I could just turn this and drag and drop it and make it a prefab. But that's basically my Starfield tutorial, folks. Starfield tutorial. Play. Dun-dun-dun!